The most difficult part for me was definitely accepting that I could lose my life, that I might not make it. I wanted to live. I was in love with life. My name is Tamika Felder. I was diagnosed with cervical cancer at age 25. You know, on June 14th, 2001, at seven o'clock in the morning at Johns Hopkins Hospital, I had everything that I thought that made me a woman removed. And it was devastating for me. It changed my life forever. And in learning that my cancer was related to HPV, I felt ashamed. I think when people really understand how common the human papillomavirus is, they're like, wow, you know? It's the most common sexually transmitted virus. It's a virus that most people don't even know that they have. You know, lucky for most people, the virus goes away on its own. But for the ones where the virus lingers and it doesn't go away and it causes cancer, that's really scary. I had finished healing from my surgery, finished through treatment, and I said, okay, God, I survived this. I am going to go back to my life, be the best person that I can be, and never think about this again. I wanted to put it behind me. And then something happened to where I wanted to do something. The girl who never wanted to share a story, the girl who wanted to put it all behind her, wanted to do something. And I started sharing my story to anyone who would listen because the thoughts that I had, the feelings that I had when I felt isolated, ashamed, and alone, I never want anyone going through an HPV-related cancer to feel that way. Um, the hope that we have a vaccine that can prevent HPV-related cancers, I can't even describe that feeling for you because it means that no one will have to go through the things that those of us who have HPV-related cancers do. It means that we can win the war on cancer starting with these types of cancers. And for that, that's what the big light bulb moment was for me, knowing that we could do something. It wasn't just talk, there were actionable items. We have a vaccine that can stop the virus. I want parents to know that they can protect their children from ever going through an HPV-related cancer. I want providers to know that it is their responsibility to make sure that their patients are educated about this HPV vaccine. It's a simple conversation.